When creating presentations and videos on Canva, you can easily record your own voiceovers using the tools available in the Canva editor. With Canva's recording tools, you can simply record your voice and instantly add it to the project that you're working on. No other software is needed. Simply use an external mic or even the mic on your laptop and record your voiceover directly on Canva. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to add voiceovers to your presentations and videos. For my voiceover example, I've already started creating a video on Canva, so let's open it up now. So I've been working on a presentation called Social Media Marketing for Beginners. I have all of the slides completed, but I still need to add a voiceover to finish up the video. Luckily, we can do this directly from Canva. So to add a voiceover to my slots, let's start by going over to the menu on the left and click the Uploads tab. From here. If you look at the top of the menu, you should see a button that says record yourself. Let's click that now. This should take you to the Canva recording studio. Here's where you can record audio to add to your slots and even a video if you like as well. If you look at the top right, you can select your recording settings from the toolbox here. Since I'm recording a voiceover, I'm going to have no camera selected. And for my audio, I'm just going to use my MacBook internal mic. Down at the bottom here, you can select which slides you want to record the voiceover for. I'm going to add a voiceover to each slot, so let's just start with the first one. So now that I've selected my settings and the slide that I want to add the voiceover to, let's record my audio. Once you're ready to begin, click the record button and start speaking as soon as the countdown finishes. Welcome to Social Media Marketing for Beginners. And when you're finished, click the done button and your recording will be saved. To preview your recording, you can use the round icon on the screen here. Simply click the play button and you can hear a preview of your voiceover. If you want to remove your voiceover and try again, simply click the delete button here. But I'm just going to roll with this one and go through the same process to record my voiceover for each slide. By being able to record each slide individually, each slide will have its own audio track. And this makes things much easier when editing and putting your video together. So once you finish recording your audio for each slot, go ahead and look at the top right of the page and click the save and exit button. This should take you back to the Canva editor. And if you look at the uploads menu on the left hand side, you'll notice all of your audio tracks start to upload. In case you wanted to use the audio file for another project or another slot, they'll always be available here. If I select it to record video as well, these icons would actually show the video recording instead of the initials. So to access your recordings, you'll actually go to the videos tab. But on each of your slots, each voiceover will already be available. To preview your audio, simply click the play button in the center. And also, when you select the icon, you'll notice the audio editing menu appear up top. From here, you can adjust your audio volume, crop your audio to the perfect length, play back your audio, and more. After adding my audio, I like to use the cut feature to crop the front and the back end of my audio to get rid of the silence. When I select the cut icon, it'll open up a slider with my audio that I can adjust. Wherever you move the two markers on the slider is where your audio will begin and where it will end. I like to cut out any empty space and have my audio start when my voice starts and end when my voice ends. Once you're finished adjusting your audio, go ahead and click the done button on the right hand side. There we go. So this icon is handy for editing our audio, but I really don't want it to be shown in my video. So to hide it, let's make sure we have it selected. Go up to the position tab from the menu up top and move it to the back behind one of my photos. There we go. Now the audio icon is hidden. So I finished editing my audio for the first slot. Now let's go through the same process for the rest. Go ahead and adjust the audio for each of your slides if needed and also hide the icon. And voila, a voiceover has been added to each of the slides in my video. Before downloading or sharing your video, you can preview it by going to the present button at the top here. From here, let's go down to present and check out my video. Welcome to Social Media Marketing for Beginners. What is social media marketing? Thanks for listening and I hope you found this presentation helpful. Not bad. I think that worked perfectly. From the Canva editor, I can now go up to the top right and click the share button to share the link to my presentation or download the video. Keep in mind that when downloading videos on Canva, make sure you go to the file type and select MP4 video. Also, make sure you have all pages selected and when you're ready, click the download button to download your video to your device. So that's a quick overview of how to add voiceovers to your presentations and videos on Canva. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button 
and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.